Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to play with the Jacqueline Unfold collection. I know, again, this is my fourth video so far. But I want to create like as much as possible look so you all can recreate it. And just so you have like an AD to what to do with the palettes. So in today's video I'm using the Ring the Alarm which contains a lot of warm neutrals. I also uploaded a video where I used this one which is more of a dramatic cut crease. I will link it down in this video. But for today's video I just created this soft look which I think it will look amazing on everyone. And I also think you can use any lipstick in combination since I use like very neutral colors. And also in this video I'm only going to show you the eyeshadow application. I wasn't really feeling like filming today because I already filmed a lot of videos this week. So I just wanted to do like an extra video. But if you're curious like what is on my lips, what highlighter I'm wearing, I will put it down in the description bar. Just so you know what I'm wearing. But yeah, if you want to see how I created this eye look, then keep on watching. So the first thing, like always, is I am going to prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer ever. I'm applying this on a small kabuki brush and then I'm pressing this all over my eyelid. The reason why I'm using this primer is because it will make sure that my eyeshadow stays in place all day. And also it will remove any redness that I have on my eyelid. So it will leave me with a nice blank space. Then I'm setting it with a little bit of this powder, which is from Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder Kit. I'm mixing the shade Vanilla and Banana together, and then I'm blending this all over the eyelid with my Sigma E40 brush, just basically to kind of lock the primer in place so it's not going to crease. Then I'm taking some eyeshadow guards and applying this right underneath my outer V area. And this will leave me with a very sharp edge once I remove the eyeshadow guard after applying eyeshadow. So in today's video I'm going to play with this gorgeous palette from the Jack and Hill Fold Collection. It contains a lot of warm colors. And I'm going to start with this shade called Rush. And I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and blend this all over in my crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. When I'm done with blending that in my crease, I'm also going to kind of press this all over the eyelid. When I started blending this in my crease, I wasn't even sure yet what I wanted to do with my eyes. So then I decided I wanted this shade to be all over my eyelid. So I used that same Sigma E40 and I just pressed it on the eyelid and I blended it as well. Now I'm taking the shade Secret and I'm using a very tiny blending brush from Morphe Brushes, which is the M506. And I'm going to blend this along where I normally would apply my eyeliner. So basically I'm applying it like along the outer V area. And since I'm using a eyeshadow guard, it's really easy to kind of blend this right here. Because the eyeshadow guard will kind of create a sharp line. So I don't know how to explain, but it will just leave me with a very sharp and clean edge. So I don't have to be very precise like if I would go lower. So now I'm taking the shade Mugshot and I'm going to blend it right on top of it because the shade I used before this one is quite dark so I want to kind of blend it out to make it a little bit more softer. Now I'm taking this gel eyeliner from Sigma Beauty, which is called the Wicked Gel Eyeliner. I'm taking my Sigma E21 Smudge Brush, which comes in my brush collaboration brush kit I have in collaboration with Sigma Beauty. I have it linked down in the description bar. It also contains the E40 brush that I used at the beginning to blend in my crease. But I'm going to create a sort of where I normally would apply my eyeliner, but I'm trying to kind of make it look more smudgy. So this way I will create like a smoked out winged liner without it looking too harsh. So I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to apply this right underneath where I um, just removed the eyeshadow guard basically. It already left me with a very sharp edge, but I feel like applying a little bit of concealer makes it look even more sharp. And also it will blend in better in my skin since I have sort of redness everywhere on my skin. So this will also kind of conceal that. 
Now I'm taking this tattoo liner from Kat Von D, which has a very nice sharp point. <laughs> and I'm going to create a thin line above my lash line because I realized I am going to apply fake eyelashes and this will kind of hide the lash band once I apply lashes. Now I'm taking this dark brown shade and I'm going to press it right underneath the lower lash line. I kind of mix it with a little bit of black eyeshadow just to kind of connect it with the wing that I just created. So I use a Sigma flat diviner brush. Now I'm taking this soft cold pencil from Soeva, which is like a nude pencil. One of my favorites. I think I have been using this one for years now on my YouTube channel. And this will just really open up my eyes more, look it more fresh. I'm taking this Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal and using this for my lower lashes. Since I'm going to wear fake eyelashes anyway, I always like to use a mascara which makes my lower lashes super long, so it's kind of in balance. And I'm using the Snobby Lashes from my own lash brand Anytu today. These are very dramatic, so the fact that my lower lashes are quite long, I just feel like this suits really well together. Like if my lower lashes would be very short, for example, I feel like there's something missing. But of course, not everyone is blessed with long lower lashes. But I always try to use a mascara which makes them as long as possible. This way I feel like it really makes my eyes look open and big, if that makes sense. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I know I only showed like the application of the eyeshadow, but for my next video, I will be doing like a full face video again. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Nothing's gonna save us from our doubts. Nothing's gonna make us spell it out. I told you so